Welcome to this short video on how to generate scatter chart inside Google Earth Engine. To make it first of all you need a feature collection. Since I don't have in my assets I will generate random points feature collection. For that first I will create a geometry. Next inside the docs I will type random points. Copy this function that requires a geometry and number of points as compulsory arguments. I want it to generate 50 random points. Next, I have loaded a digital elevation model from my assets but it could be any type of raster image or band. In the next step I have sampled the band values at the random points. The sample regions function will help. It requires a feature collection, properties and scale. In the feature collection I will give the points that we generated, the scale of my raster is 10 meters. The property is a non-compulsory argument and is basically the the name of column inside the attribute table of feature collection. Since I have randomly generated points so the default system index property is taken as zero here. I will remove this argument. If you have a feature collection having proper column in attribute table for example, biomass, weight, etc. Make sure to mention it. Finally let's generate a feature by feature chart. Inside the collection give the sampled points. The X property is the name of column inside your attribute table. Since we don't have any the default system index is zero will be considered. It is required as a string. The Y properties are a list of bands of the raster. By default Earth Engine will plot values for all the bands or you can specify any particular. The Y properties is also a non-compulsory argument. If not mentioned Earth Engine will plot values of all the bands. Now I will run the code and Earth Engine have generated a chart. Finally I will set the chart type to scatter chart. For that use the set chart type function. You can generate different types of chart and the decoration of them are mentioned on the Earth Engine image charts description. However, I will make a dedicated video on charts decoration and types. I will quickly paste some chart properties that I created earlier. As you can see default system index of 0 is considered on the x-axis and the number of points are automatically counted. I will rename the b1 to elevation using the rename function. If you don't know compulsory and non-compulsory arguments of a function please watch this charts playlist from the start. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any queries or confusion please write in comments. Follow me on Twitter link provided in description. Don't forget to like and subscribe.